exploration of Mars. The idea of sending humans to Mars has been the subject of aerospace engineering and scientific studies since the late 1940s as part of the broader exploration of Mars. Some have also considered exploring the Martian moons of Phobos and Deimos. Long-term proposals have included sending settlers and terraforming the planet. Proposals for human missions to Mars came from e.g. NASA, Russia, Boeing, and SpaceX. As of 2023, only robotic landers and rovers have been on Mars. The farthest humans have been beyond Earth is the Moon. Conceptual proposals for missions that would involve human explorers started in the early 1950s, with planned missions typically being stated as taking place between 10 and 30 years from the time they are drafted. The list of crewed Mars mission plans shows the various mission proposals that have been put forth by multiple organizations and space agencies in this field of space exploration. The plans for these crews have varied from scientific expeditions, in which a small group between two and eight astronauts would visit Mars for a period of a few weeks or more, to a continuous presence. Audi Active Sphere Concept As the fourth model in the series, the Audi Active Sphere concept marks the culmination of Sphere concept vehicles brought forth by the brand with the four rings. Following on from the Audi Sky Sphere Roadster in 2021, and both the Audi Grand Sphere Sedan and the Audi Urban Sphere Space concept in April 2022, a four-door crossover coupe with an astonishingly versatile body design is now making its debut. Standing 4.98 meters long, the highly elegant car is more than a mere luxury class sports car, with impressive ground clearance and large 22-inch wheels announcing its off-road talent. The sport back rear of the active sphere can turn into an open cargo bed active back at the touch of a button perfect for carrying recreational equipment such as e-bikes or water and winter sports gear. High Energy Laser Weapon Raytheon Intelligence Space's high energy laser systems use photons, or particles of light, to carry out military missions and civil defense. This directed energy technology enables detection of threats, tracking during maneuvers, and positive visual identification to defeat a wide range of threats, including unmanned aerial systems rockets, artillery, and mortars. The Directed Energy Weapon System part of the U.S. Army's Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense, or DEM Shorat acquires, tracks, targets, and defeats mortars and large drones in complex swarming scenarios. High Energy Laser Weapon Laser Weapon Systems work on land, in the air and at sea, providing 360-degree coverage that protects bases, airports, stadiums, and other high-value military or civilian targets. The system's open architecture adapts to the demands of the mission. Hangzhou International Sports Center Zaha Hadid Architects has won the competition to design the Hangzhou International Sports Center. The scheme incorporates a 60,000-seat football stadium, a 19,000-seat indoor sports arena, and an aquatic center with two 50-meter pools. There are also recreational and leisure facilities, in addition to parks and plazas where events can be held. A layered podium connects the indoor arena and aquatic center to the stadium, 
and contains training in fitness halls, locker rooms, offices, shops, restaurants, and cafes. Annual solar irradiation analysis has determined the composition of the stadium's facade, which features terraces. Photovoltaic panels are combined with ground heat exchange and river water recovery systems. The design minimizes and makes the most of the materials necessary for the structure, prioritizing recycled and recyclable elements. RRYZR China's SAIC Automotive, one of the biggest manufacturers in the country, has been letting its design team stretch out on some fun and futuristic projects through its SAIC Design Studio. This one caught our eye, the RRYZR, an open-air four-wheel EV focused on making drivers feel very much a part of the environment. The RRYZR has two narrow hubless wheels at the front, with curved profile tires similar to what you'd see on a motorcycle. At the back, there's too much fatter wheels placed almost side by side. As the tire profile suggests, this thing's designed to lean into corners like a motorcycle, and that always bumps up the fun factor. The steering apparatus has no mechanical connection to the wheels, it's all electronic. And it's mounted on an arm extending from the middle of the car that can be swiveled across over to the other side. Blue Origin Blue Origin is a private spaceflight company based in Kent, Wash, and started in 2000 by Amazon's founder and executive chairman, Jeff Bezos. The organization's goal is to create a future where people live and work in space to benefit Earth. Blue Origin's motto, Graded in Ferocitor, or Step by Step, Ferociously in Latin, reflects the company's strategy to develop incrementally. The company started with about a dozen employees in 2000 and now has a headcount of about 3,500. In 2015, Blue Origin made history by successfully launching and landing a reusable rocket for the first time. The company is currently developing a lunar lander called Blue Moon that will make robotic cargo deliveries to the lunar surface and it is partnering with SpaceX and Dynetics to develop a human-rated moon lander that will carry astronauts to the lunar surface in 2024 under NASA's Artemis program. Electric Folding Cargo Bike the conceptual Redis electric folding cargo bike has been designed by HTH Han as a transportation solution for those in urban areas to support their changing lifestyle. The trike is characterized by its balanced, three-wheel design that's capable of gliding easily through city streets. The trike functions in both travel and cargo modes which feature wheelbase sizes of 650 mm and 1000 mm, respectively. The electric transportation solution can be expanded and contracted as required with the cargo mode revealing ample area in the front for storing purchases or deliveries. The conceptual Redis electric folding cargo bike offers up to 172 liters of storage space to make it well suited for delivery personnel while also being great for use on off hours to move gear. SpaceX Starship SpaceX's Starship spacecraft and super heavy rocket collectively referred to as Starship represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, 
with the ability to carry up to 150 metric tons to Earth orbit reusable, and up to 250 metric tons expendable Starship is designed to deliver satellites further and at a lower marginal cost per launch than our current Falcon vehicles. With a payload compartment larger than any fairing currently in operation or development, Starship creates possibilities for new missions, including space telescopes even larger than the James Webb Starship will enter Mars' atmosphere at 7.5 kilometers per second and decelerate aerodynamically. The vehicle's heat shield is designed to withstand multiple entries. ASKA A5 Flying Car ASKA is developing a hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing VTOL and short takeoff and landing STOL passenger aircraft that will work both as an aircraft and ground car or a drive fly vehicle. The company said it's the first viable EVTOL vehicle that can both drive on the road and fly autonomously in the sky. The cruise speed in the air is 150 miles per hour, 241 kilometers per hour, and its top speed on the ground is 70 miles per hour, 113 kilometers per hour. The range in the air of the aircraft is 250 miles, 402 kilometers. The aircraft can either take off and land vertically or take off and land on conventional runways. The aircraft has six electric propellers and six electric motors mounted on foldable canard wings. The large rear wing is optimized for gliding, smooth landings, and efficient energy consumption while each tilt rotor is used for vehicle control. The aircraft has large windows providing excellent views for the passengers. Two rear vertical stabilizers are used for additional aerodynamic control. ASAP Hybrid Helicopter Concept The ASAP Hybrid Helicopter is at first glance just a helicopter. It comes with room for five people, pilots included, and a three-bladed main propeller up top that help it take off and land vertically, but also fly forward gives the helicopter a top speed of 140 knots 161 miles per hour 260 kilometers per hour and can keep powering it for a total of 700 nautical miles 805 miles 1 296 kilometer each of the five seats comes with its own storage compartment usb ports and four point harnesses Integrated holders and jacks for Bose ANR headsets are there to replace the anesthetic ceiling jacks and storage, and all those inside benefit from climate control and Bluetooth connectivity. Luggage can be stored behind the cabin, in a special compartment capable of holding 0.7 cubic meter, almost 25 cubic feet of cargo.